Hello everyone, it's time once again for your daily devotion, the word for you today, and welcome. I'm Sister Maria Dwyer here at Community Baptist Church in Santa Rosa, California, and we have part one of two, and our title is Conquering the Giants in Your Life. And for part one, our scripture today is Luke 10 and 19, which says, I have given you authority over all the power of the enemy. When he went out to fight Goliath, David said, you come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord, and he will give you to us. 1 Samuel 17, 45 and 47. Nobody in King Saul's army seemed to have factored God into the equation, but David talked about nothing else. Go, David. He saw what they didn't and refused to be intimidated by what they did. He believed that the God he served was bigger than the giant he faced. Do you believe that too? Do you see God as bigger than your problem? If you're in a situation where there appears to be no way out, instead of wasting time and energy dwelling on your own weaknesses and shortcomings, stand on God's word and start talking about his power. You won't win if you fight in your own strength, so don't try it. David said, this is the Lord's battle, verse 47, and God never lost a battle. So confront your giant in the name of the Lord and declare, giant of divorce, you aren't entering my home. Depression, you won't conquer me. Alcohol, bigotry, child abuse, insecurity, lust, you're coming down. <laughs> The Bible says when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard flag of victory against him. Isaiah 59 and 19. There are three things Satan can't withstand. God's word, Christ's blood, and the name of Jesus. When you use those things, you'll bring him down every time, just like David toppled Goliath. <laughs> so yeah, his faith wasn't in the rock. <laughs> well, the rock being God, yes, but not the physical rock. So um, that's where David's faith was, was in his Lord, his rock, not his physical rock in his hand that he you know, swung through it, the giant, but um, in his rock, God. So there you go. That's Conquering the Giants in Your Life, part one, and we will see you tomorrow for part two. Have a blessed day.